Oh, great morning for Abba Yahweh. We come before you, most holy Father, to say thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Father, for allowing us to be here another day, Abba Yahweh. And we ask you, Abba Yahweh, to forgive us all our sins, our iniquities, Abba Yahweh, our wickedness, Abba Yahweh. And we ask you, most holy of holies, help us to be a pure and holy people unto you, walking in the pathway of holiness and righteousness at all times, Abba Yahweh. Oh, Abba Yahweh, Help us always to put you first in everything that we do, Abi Yahweh. Help us to live that react life, Abi Yahweh, that you asked for us in order to make it into your kingdom, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, help us to set our goals, Abi Yahweh. Oh, to please you, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, to be a pleasing vessel to you, usable by you, Abi Yahweh, pure and holy. React, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, help us so that we don't turn to the left nor to the right, but that we stay on the highway of holiness and righteousness all the days of our life, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, because you're such a wonderful and awesome God. You're awesome, most holy of holy, most righteous God. Oh, there is no other God besides you, Abi Yahweh. Oh, anything else, Abi Yahweh, it's an idol God, Abi Yahweh, a detestable thing, an abominable thing, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, help us not to worship anything, oh, Abi Yahweh, other than you, Abi Yahweh. And Abi Yahweh, we know that you consider it from your perspective, Abi Yahweh, anything that we put before you, Abi Yahweh, is, is an idol God, Abi Yahweh. We put our wives, our children, our husbands, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, we put anything, our jobs, Abi Yahweh, money, Abi Yahweh, we put anything before you, Abi Yahweh, that has become our God, Abi Yahweh, because you come second to none. You are most holy, you are most real, Abi Yahweh, and help us, Abi Yahweh, to understand, Abi Yahweh, everything from your perspective, Abi Yahweh. Help us to see things as you see them, Abi Yahweh, and help them to do things just as you want us to do them, Abi Yahweh, not adding nor taking away from them, Abi Yahweh, but loving you, Abi Yahweh, and doing things just as you have told us in that holy word, in the Torah, in the Tanaka, Abi Yahweh. Help us be a pure and holy people unto you, not sometimes, but all times, Abi Yahweh. And Abi Yahweh, we cry out, Abi Yahweh, for those that are in bereavement right now, Abi Yahweh. We cry out, Abi Yahweh, for the uh, loss of my brother-in-law, my wife's brother, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, to COVID-19 last week, Abi Yahweh. They funeral right on him today, Abi Yahweh. I ask you to be with the families, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh as they go through the Greek period, Abi Yahweh. We go through our Greek period, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, asking you, Abi Yahweh, to strengthen the family, Abi Yahweh. And let the family know, Abi Yahweh, that you make no mistakes, Abi Yahweh. Oh, Abi Yahweh, that we all get to pass that way one day, Abi Yahweh. But help us to be ready, Abi Yahweh. Oh, when I say help us to be ready, Abi Yahweh, help us be full of your reach, Abi Yahweh, when that day comes, Abi Yahweh. Help us to be ready, Abi Yahweh, so we don't, oh, fall into that burning pit, pit called hell, Abi Yahweh. But that we, Abi Yahweh, will spend eternity with you, Abi Yahweh. Because, Abi Yahweh, after we go to sleep, Abi Yahweh, for that final time, Abi Yahweh, oh, Abi Yahweh, there's not another chance that we get, Abi Yahweh, to make it up. Oh, Abi Yahweh, it's too late then, Abi Yahweh. When we're in that casket, Abi Yahweh, it's too late when we're on the cooling board, Abi Yahweh. When the last uh, drop of blood has been pumped through our hearts, Abi Yahweh, it's too late, Abi Yahweh. Oh, yes, Abi Yahweh. Help us to understand this, that we have to make our choices now, Abi Yahweh, to be holy or not to be holy, Abi Yahweh. And what we so choose is going to dictate, Abi Yahweh, where we spend eternity, Abi Yahweh. If we choose to be holy, Abi Yahweh, that means that we must obey all that words, all that statutes, and all that commandments. And, we, and I thank you, Abi Yahweh, for your presence here with me today, Abi Yahweh, as we serve you. Can I ask you to forgive us for not being here last night, Abi Yahweh, and last uh, Sabbath evening. Well, I thank you, Abi Yahweh, for the Sabbath day service that we're about to go into. I ask for your holy presence always to be here with me, Abi Yahweh. Now, Abi Yahweh, when I open up my mouth, Abi Yahweh, it'll be you that's speaking, not me. Oh, Abi Yahweh, I pray, let me decrease and let you increase, Abi Yahweh. In the holy name of Yeshua, how I say it, we do say, Amen and Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to you. And Happy Shabbat. Amen. Shalom. Amen. I just thank God for my place of being here today. Amen. 
Because, you know, we, we don't have to be here. You sure did not have to allow us to be here on this day. He can choose to call us at any time. And as I was saying in the prayer, amen, we need to be ready, amen, when he does call. Amen. And so that means that we got to walk in all the doctrines of the Holy Bible, the Torah. Amen. We got to do everything that Yeshua HaMashiach, Abba Yahweh, has demanded of us or commanded us to do. Amen. If we want to spend eternity with Him. We don't have that uh, choice of uh, saying, well, I'm going to make it into the kingdom of God, but I'm going to do what I want to do to make it in there. Well, you cannot, we cannot do just what we want to do and expect that we're going to make it into the kingdom of God. We must line up with the Holy Word, with this Torah, with this Tanaka, amen. We got to. We have, we have no other choices if we want to spend eternity with Yeshua, amen. Now, one thing for certain is that we will spend eternity somewhere, amen. But the choice is ours. You know, if we can spend eternity with Yeshua, then that means that we got to obey the Tanakh and everything that it says. If we choose not to obey the Tanakh or the Torah, amen, the words of God, then we will spend uh, eternity in hell. But then that's a choice that's given unto us. You know, and we can say with our lips that, hey, well, I want to follow Yeshua, I want to follow Jesus, but that's not good enough. It's going to have to be some, what, some action behind that choice, amen. It's going to have to be a, a word, amen. It's going to have to be given, amen. Amen. It's going to have to be a word, amen. We have to do it just the way that Yeshua says to do it. We must live it the way that Yeshua says to live it. Amen. We got to walk accordingly. Amen. And so I thank Yeshua, amen. For being here, amen. Again, I thank him for his word and for his toy and for Tanaka. Uh, today, I'm excited that, you know, Yeshua was telling me uh, we're going to start, since we had to start anew, basically, amen, because uh, we had some technical problems with uh, some of the filming equipment, amen. We had some technical problems there, amen. We had some, uh, and I've been having some problems. I'm resetting up everything, amen. Uh, we're also going to a different YouTube channel, amen. It'll be uh, uh, Yeshua, amen, uh, YouTube channel, amen, Pure Gospel, Yeshua, uh, Yeshua's Pure Gospel, amen, channel on YouTube, amen. But you will see these, uh, you know, when we get back to making the videos, you will see those uh, channels, and uh, when they come on Facebook or elsewhere, you will see where we are, amen. And so you may have to resubscribe, amen, to uh, continue uh, following uh, us, amen. But we, we're going to praise you, we're going to, you know, we thank you, amen, uh, for your love, for your grace, amen. We just thank you, amen, for following us, amen. And we thank you for those that have been sending offerings in, amen. They have been needful and they have been, you know, uh, greatly appreciated. But we're going to start off, amen, we'll do a, 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 a small series on about the Shabbat, about the Sabbath day, amen. Because you will find out, amen, that it's so important, amen, amen, that we keep the Sabbath day, amen. And if we don't keep the Sabbath day, then we're not going to be able to make it into the kingdom of the Lord, amen. So we thank you, sure, amen, for, you know, uh, allowing us to see about the Sabbath, about the Shabbat, amen. So I thank God, amen. 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 So I thank, I thank the Lord, amen. Amen. Uh, see, uh, the apostle, she's made it back, amen. Uh, here, amen. Uh, from uh, funeralizing her, her brother, amen. But, you know, so this program does go out to the Lafitte Richardson family, amen. Amen. And so, uh, we, we thank God, amen. Well, uh, anyway, we're going to do a little small series on about Shabbat, Shabbat, because we must keep the Shabbat, amen. amen. I know a lot of people go up there and think that you don't have to keep the seven-day Sabbath. 
But this is one of the commandments that Yeshua has given us. Amen. Amen. To do. Yes, Lord. Amen. And so we can't go by our own perspective, can't go do things our way if we want to make it to the kingdom of God. Mm -mm. And God calls it uh, an abominable thing if we don't obey Him. Amen. 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 He, he does not uh, like to be disobeyed. Amen. Mm -mm. And we cannot uh, fellowship with Him if we're not obeying Him. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must go ahead on and obey Him. Amen. The Word of God. I'm, hey, I don't care what your church, church doctrine says. Your church does not have a heaven or a hell to put you in. Amen. Amen. You see, you got to line up with what the Bible says, amen. Right. So we're going to go through the Bible, and I might use both uh, King James and the uh, Complete Jewish Bible, but I think I'm going to start off in the Complete Jewish Bible, amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, please, you know, uh, have your Bibles, get your Bibles, as we always say, you get your Bibles and study the Bible, because when your soul spends eternity, uh, that, that, that should be one of the most important things to you in this life. And at any time. Amen. Amen. You know, I mean, you know, uh, achieving money, I mean, that's nice, that's good, but if, if you achieve all the riches of the world, that's not going, you cannot pay God to get, get, uh, to get into the kingdom of God to spend eternity with Him. Amen. If you have not lived a holy life, if you have not obeyed His commandments and His statutes, you shall spend what eternity in hell. Amen. Amen. On the time we, on the way to spend eternity with you, sure, is by being obedient to His word. Amen. And He makes no exceptions to the rule. Mm -mm. And I've been following, obeying you, sure, for quite a few years now, almost uh, twenty something odd, like twenty five, twenty eight years, something like that. And uh, if I don't, if, okay, let's say I, I've been doing everything that He says up to this point. If I go back and just start disobeying him, uh, then I won't be able to make it into uh, kingdom spend of kingdom of God. I will not be able to spend eternity with him. Amen. So this is how serious it is. Amen. Now, I don't know if you've been paying attention to what's going on in the world or not, but understand that uh, the world is getting ready to come to an end. Yes, it is. Amen. Time, time is winding on down. Amen. And I, you don't have to believe that, but look at the size of time, look at what's going on compared to what's going on in the Bible, amen. And you can see uh, through the Holy Word, through the Tanaka, that we're, we're at the end now. Amen. Yes, we're, we are. We're, 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 we're at the end. Hallelujah. Amen. And so therefore, you know, you're going to have to make quick decisions, amen. Mm -hmm. Of where you want to spend eternity. Uh, Can't nobody make decisions for you except for you. Yes, Amen. Sir. So, where you want to spend eternity? So, we're going, you got to line up with the Word of God. I thank God. Amen. For well, Yeshua. Yes, Being sir. my God. Amen. I thank you for the precious gift of the Biyat HaKadash. Yes. I thank Him for my wife, the Apostle. Yes. Amen. I'm a blessed man to have such a wonderful, wonderful woman of God by my side. Praise Amen. God. I thank him, amen, for Mother of the Fit, amen. Uh, it was her oldest son that, that passed away, amen. 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 Uh, due to COVID, amen. And uh, other things, amen. Complications, amen. But, you know, we, we, we thank God for having the opportunity to know him, amen. Uh, Thank God for him. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. We thank God for uh, the absence of uh, Hattie uh, the bit. Amen. It was uh, her brother also. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, we just give out all, you know, condolence to everybody. Amen. Thank God for uh, our granddaughter, Takan and I, being here with us today. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Took some time out, amen, to help her grandmother, amen. Yes, sir. Amen. So we give God thanks for that, amen. So we thank and we thank God for you, amen. Again, we thank God for you. But let's turn to uh, Genesis 2 today, amen. I'm going to be using the complete Jewish Bible, amen. And I just came about, you know, I, 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 I'm constantly talking 
for for sure. Amen. And he says, you know, I want you to go ahead on and answer because I know I did some serious, but the way that we're doing the program now, we'll be doing the program now. I'll be writing down a, uh, a description of the subjects that we have spoken, that, we, that we're speaking on. Amen. Uh, before I would, we would just film them and just put them on out to give them a title and everything like that. So a lot of them, I could not tell you what are on those videos. Amen. So I know, you know I would have no way, we would have no way to let you know that we played them back and uh, uh, read the description. So you sure is telling me to do this. Amen. And then write a description. So then when you do have a question, so you need a reference. Amen. You can go and look at the list. Amen. Of the videos. Amen. And perhaps see your subject. Amen. Now it's going to take us some time to get that list built up again like that, amen, with the description. But, you know, it's all on uh, Yeshua's will, amen. Amen. So we thank God for you, amen. I'll be our way. We come before you once again and say thank you, thank you, thank you for your word. Be with us. We know that your word is anointed. I'll be our way. Anoint us. I'll be our way. To speak with us says you, I'll be our way. Help us to live what we preach and teach, I'll be our way. Oh, I'll be our way. Help us to live the Holy Tanaka, I'll be our way. Help us be to always be found to be doing your will, your word, I'll be our way. Help us be overcomer of evil and wickedness and sin, I'll be our way. And let it not be named amongst us, I'll be our way. Oh, I'll be our way. We know things will come to us, I'll be our way. But help us always to overcome. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Help us, give us the strength, I'll be our way. Oh, I'll be our way. If we do get angry, I'll be our way. Help us to be angry, but sin not. I'll be our way. Help us to do everything that you say according yes, to your perspective. God. In the holy name of Yeshua HaMaseya, we do say amen. Amen. And amen. 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 Now, the reason I didn't start off in Genesis 1, most of us understand what Genesis 1 or have read Genesis 1. If you haven't read Genesis 1, we suggest that you read it, amen. In fact, uh, we suggest that you read the whole Torah, the whole Bible, amen, from Genesis to Revelation, and asking you sure to open up your eyes and give you understanding of uh, what he's saying, amen. And so I come and suggest that you also have Bible studies at your home, amen, and asking you sure to give you what help. Amen. Because even uh, my wife and I, when we have Bible studies, we have to pray to Yeshua to help us to understand what He's saying. Amen. Amen. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of a lot of things in the Bible we have already read it uh, before. You know, we've read it several times, the Bible several times through. But uh, when we pray to Yeshua, He always a lot of times He gives us new revelations. That's right. Uh, uh, and deeper revelations uh, into the Scriptures. Amen. And so. That's what we must be asking for. We need to go higher heights and deeper depths with yes. our Lord and Savior. So, you know, you need to have a, a build up a relationship with Yeshua. Yes, Lord. Amen. Now, as many times over the years, amen, that I have read the Torah, amen, uh, I, as I said, I get deeper understanding, I get more understanding, amen. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a more profound meaning of his truth, yes. amen. And, and I still don't know everything about the Bible. Come on. Okay. I, I know I'm a chief apostle, amen. But I still don't know everything about, about about the Word of God, still amen. Forever. I'm still learning. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm still learning. Forever learning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so. Uh, to go ahead and tell you, I know everything. You can't tell me nothing. No, uh, -uh, uh, -uh I cannot yes, say that. I, I, hey, I'm still learning myself. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, so. Yes, Lord. So anyway, as I was saying about Genesis one, Amen. Uh, Genesis one tells us about the creation, what was created first, Amen. Uh, how, and the order that everything was created, you know, it goes from the first day to the sixth day, amen. And we know at the end, end of the sixth day, you know, everything was completed, amen. And so at the seventh day, you know, God looked back on all this work. So we're going to uh, see this, amen. We're going to 
call, we're going to title this, amen, the first Shabbat. Amen. The first Sabbath day. Amen. Amen. And so we're going to see why the Sabbath came into existence here. Amen. Why, why, why God wanted the Sabbath. Amen. And for us to go ahead on and to obey it. Amen. As a perpetual and meaning forever uh, uh, commandment. Amen. A, a forever statute. A forever law. Amen. He says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, along with everything in them. On the seventh day, God was finished with his work, which he had made. So he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. God blessed the seventh day and separated it as holy. Because on that day, God rested from all his work which he had created, so that it itself could what? Produce. produce. Amen. Notice now, uh, again, you need to refer back to uh, chapter 1 of Genesis. Amen. And you go through and you see that uh, days 1 through 6 were not made holy. God worked on those days. He did a different work on each one of those days. Amen. Amen. He did a different type of work. And he worked all those six days. But when it came to the seventh day, he looked back and he, re he, he rested on that seventh day. Amen. Amen. God, you sure took his rest. He didn't do any work. And so therefore, he was expecting us to go ahead on and follow on his example. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In his law. Amen. Because it pleased God. Because see, we're supposed to remember the great things that Yeshua, that uh, Abba Yahweh had done. Amen. 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 We're supposed to be reflecting uh, on the beauty, on the awesomeness, on the power, on the strength of Yeshua. Amen. 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 Giving Him the thanks for what He's done through for us. Amen. You know. I don't know how we think that we can do anything without God. And why we wouldn't want to give Him the things. Amen. We can't breathe without Him. Hallelujah. We can't walk without Him. Nothing. Hallelujah. We can't talk. Nothing. We can't get out of the bed without Him. Amen. Well, there's nothing that we can do without Yeshua. Hallelujah. And you say, well, I don't give God the thanks. I don't give Him the, the, the praise. And I'm still getting up. I'm it's only by His grace. That's right. Something we it's don't only, deserve. Amen. It's only by His mercy upon us. That's right. Amen. Then we get up. We, you know, if you don't give Him the thanks, it's only by His mercy and grace that you got up. And that He lets you get up. Amen. So while He's given us these opportunities to get up, we need to be giving Him the thanks. Because He doesn't have to do it. Amen. Amen. He does not have to do it. People die... Young, old, by the second. But every moment, somebody's going to sleep. Somebody's dying. Amen. And most people are dying. Very few people are going to sleep these days. And you probably say, well, what's the difference between dying and going to sleep? Come on now. Well, see, when you die, you're separated from God. That means that you hell bound. That's right. Amen. That you're going to wake up in where? Hell. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the hell fires. You're going to be tormented, you know, day after day, continuously. And then you're going to find you some hell. You're going to be in pain. You're going to be in agony. Amen. Now, that's dying. The separation from God. From, you, from Yeshua. Going to sleep means that you have been obeying all the words and this was God and that Yeshua is going to wake you up and he's going to be your father mm -hmm. and he's going to tend to you. Amen. He's going to tend to us. Amen. And now, you know, he's not making us choose him or nor is he making us choose hell. Amen. That, that, again, that is a choice that we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody can make, again, nobody can make that choice for us except us. That's right. Amen. We don't want to make that choice. But what we want to spend eternity at. Amen. So if we see here 
This is the only day that Yeshua what made holy. That means he separated this day for himself unto himself. And he expects us but to be holy as he is holy. Amen. You go throughout the rest of the days and you find out that he looked back on them and he called them good. Mm -hmm. But he called none of them holy except for the seventh day. Yes. And that's why that we must do things according to the word. This is the, what, the first Sabbath that came into existence. Amen. Amen. And, you, uh, and, and God himself yes. observed the first Sabbath. Yes, I don't he care did. What, what, what version of the Bible you want to use, you use the Bible, amen, and the King James Version, and you'll see the same thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, we must keep the seven-day Sabbath. Amen. amen. I, in fact, you can even use the uh, uh, the Quran, amen, and the Quran. I read the Quran, and while I started reading the Quran, and it talks about the same thing, about the creation of God, the first five books of the Quran, uh, basically the same thing as the first five books of the Torah, amen. You know, there, there's that become a separation when you start talking about Yeshua and uh, Muhammad, amen. But... The books of the creation are the same. Amen. Now, if you notice that most Muslims, they do keep what? The, the seven-day seven day Sabbath. Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Amen. They keep the seven-day Sabbath. And they are why? Because they uh, they came from uh, Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whose father was with Abraham. Abraham had what? Taught him about what? The, the seven-day seven day Sabbath. Sabbath. Amen. So, I mean, there's a lot of backing for the seven-day Sabbath. Yes, amen. it is. So, you know, you got to choose, amen. You have to choose what's important to you. Is is your life important to you? Is spending eternity important to you? Your soul, huh? Uh-huh. That's right. Is, is your soul important to you? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, I know my soul is important to me. I, I, I. I, I, I don't care, amen, I know I got to give you sure what the honor, amen, I got to honor God, I got to yes. serve God, Hallelujah. amen, with all my heart, all my mind, and all my soul, Yes, Lord. you know, I know I come up lacking sometimes, amen, I do, I come, I come up lacking sometimes, but that gives me no excuses. That means I have to what, strive and do better. Strive and do better. I'm always praying to God. Help me what? To do better. Amen. Help me to live more holy. Amen. Help me to live more holy. So, now, when we said God rested from all his work, which he had created. So God is expecting us to do what? The same thing. He's expecting us to rest from all of our work. Amen. Amen. He doesn't expect us to go ahead on and be working on his day. Amen. 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 You know, uh, when I came to the knowledge of the Sabbath, I, 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 I would not work on the Sabbath day. You should sure rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, you know, I got to tell people, you know, I had been talked about because I wouldn't work on the Sabbath day. Amen. You know, I said people were saying I didn't want to work, didn't want to do this, didn't want to do that. Amen. I was using the uh, Sabbath as an excuse. No, I was doing the Sabbath because that's what you sure required of me. That's right. Amen. I was being obedient to God. To the Word of God. Amen. And you sure took care of me. Yes, He did. He blessed me. Hallelujah. He ble and blessed, still blessing me. Amen. Hallelujah. You said, well, what do you mean? He's still blessing you. Well, I mean, hey, if I, I, I'm up this morning. Mm -hmm. I'm breathing. I'm walking. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm seeing. Yes, Lord. That's enough of a blessing right there. Yes, Lord. He don't have to do anything else, amen. But, but hey, I, I, I look over my hand. I got food in the uh, uh, cabinets and the yes, refrigerator, Lord. amen. I got clothes on my back in right. the closet, amen. Got a roof over my head, amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I'm blessed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You blessed. Got a wonderful wife, amen. I'm blessed. 
Amen. I've been I've been uh, blessed to see uh, three or four generations of children. Amen. I've seen children, grandchildren, uh, grandchildren. Amen. Amen. That's that's a blessing. Amen. Yes, it is. I mean, you know, that for me, that's a blessing. Yes, it is. Amen. Me too. You know. Well, I tell you, I, I, um, I would expect to see uh, grandchildren and great grandchildren. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. One time in life I was living, I, I hey, I, I didn't even know if I would even see children. One time there. Amen. But thank you, sure. Amen. Out of all my troubles, you brought me out of them. Yes, he I did. thank God for the people that, you know, who were before me that were standing on the word. Amen. Yes. You, sure. Amen. I thank I thank I thank my for my grandfather, Amen, who was a Methodist preacher, but you know, he, he was serious about the word of God. Praise him. Amen. Beginning. Amen. That, that was a beginning, amen. Who who taught me to have a love for God. Amen. Yes, I thank God. God for my mother, amen, who, you know, even though a lot of times she wouldn't bring me to church, amen, but she would send me to church. And I was happy to go. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come I, was, on I, I, was, I was happy to go. Me too. To be in the house yes, of God. Sir. To give God to worship, amen. To yes. give God to praise. To, to thank, uh, you know, to thank Jesus, amen. I know a lot of the teaching I got in the church was wrong, but at least it gave me what a foundation, amen. Sorry, it gave sorry. me some understanding of whom Jesus was. Amen. Come on here. Amen. And so I'm most grateful for that. Amen. You know. I thank God that, you know, he shifted to what was right and what was wrong, amen. What was wrong went through, uh, uh, through the sheep. Amen. So I thank God for that. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. So now we see about this uh, seven day Sabbath. This is just the beginning. Amen. We'll go ahead on here some more in uh, Genesis 2. Amen. He says, Here is the history of the heavens and the earth when they were created. On the day which Adonai made earth and heaven, there was yet no wild bush on the earth and no wild plant has as yet sprung up for Adonai God had not caused it to rain on the earth and there was no one to cultivate the ground rather a mist went up from the earth which watered the entire surface of the ground so it was a mist that was coming out of the ground that was supplying the water and supplies that we needed amen that the earth needed I, I, you know, God had a system for doing all things, amen? Mm -hmm. The earth was not being uh, farmed, amen, with no weeds, anything that needed to be tilled, amen. It had not rained, amen. That's why people were sitting up there laughing at Noah, amen, of Noah, amen, because they had never heard of rain, you know, never seen rain. There was no such thing as, as, as rain in the time of Noah. So the first rain came to a shock to it. But understand this, that for 120 years, Noah preached that a rain was coming. Amen. He stood on the word of God. Didn't nobody believe him. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you look back over his three sons, amen, and his three daughter-in-laws and his wife, amen, it, 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 you kind of wanted if they even believed. Mm -hmm. Amen. They, they, you know, because they were being ridiculed, they were being mocked also. Amen. But the thing is that, you know, they, they, they obeyed their father. They obeyed Noah. It was saved their life. Amen. So the world was able to get what repopulated. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, after the floods, the earth was what repopulated. Amen. Amen. You know, it's like many people today. They don't believe that the fires are coming. They Come don't on. believe that the earth is getting ready uh, to be destroyed. Amen. They don't believe that they've got to get their souls right for their souls won't be destroyed. Amen. It was the same thing. Amen. Same. Same, same, same thing. Amen. You know, in fact, the scripture even tells them, it says it's going to be just as, as in the days of Noah. 
And when I said earlier, I didn't believe that you know his sons and daughters were uh, saved. And I and I get that from the uh, scriptures also. Amen. Where it talks about you know Noah. He said if if, uh, if God was to come that day, he said and, and, and get ready to destroy everything. Nobody would be saved. You know, only Noah would be saved. Mm -hmm. and he said his sons and daughters would not have been saved. Amen. So you can't go by on somebody live, don't even expect to go by or be saved by somebody else's righteousness or somebody else's holiness. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. See, we that. have to do things but for ourselves. Amen. We have to we have to seek that pathway. Amen. Now, thank you, Yeshua. Amen. It says, Then a done I God formed a person, Hebrew, Adam, from the dust of dust of the ground, Hebrew Adam, and breathed into his nostril the breath of life, so that he became a living being. Now in the King James gonna say that he became what a living soul. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. He became a living soul. Amen. Why? Because the breath of Yeshua what had entered into this clay. Amen. Yes, and yes. made it turn into what flesh and it became what a living soul. Amen. See, so this is where we came from. But we didn't come from an anima. Amen. We didn't come from fishes. Amen. We were what created by the Creator. Amen. That's right. We didn't go through no steps. Amen. We didn't. We weren't uh, fishes and frogs and monkeys. monkeys and whatnot. Amen. A process of of, of the ape family. No, we were created in the form and this action. That's right. Amen. This 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 is the form that we were created. We're like we're looking right now. Amen. We're, the monkeys and apes and gorillas were created as an animal. That's right. They, they, they were formed that way. The lions were formed that way. Amen. Uh, Abu Yahweh had created them. Each animal, each fish. Amen. All these were created by Him. They designed by Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. As we were created and designed by us. By God. But we were in His own image. Amen. But we were in His own image. In the image of God are we created in. Okay. Amen. He says, Out of the ground, Adonai, God, caused to grow every tree pleasing in appearance and good for food, including the tree of life, in the middle of the garden and the tree of the knowledge of good and bad, evil. Amen. See, everything was in the garden. Amen. Everything that man needed, amen, for survival was what? In the garden. Mm -hmm. Amen. The garden of Eden. Amen. Got Eden. It was there. Amen. Man didn't have to have a want for nothing. Amen. God, what you sure what provided everything for him? He provided everything for us. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. He says, a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided into four streams. Now I want you to listen to the names of these streams. Amen. Go into your King James and get the name from. Them. Amen. Get in, get in your books, your, uh, your, your atlases, or your, uh, your iPhones, amen, and begin to understand where these rivers are, amen. Because, see, people, uh, they want to fight the Word of God. So we're going we're gonna to teach the Word of God as it is. We're not adding to it, nor we're we going to take away from it. Amen. 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 Okay. He says, the name of the first